As Russia prepares to roll out its next generation T-14 Armada, NATO countries are stepping up the pace of their existing tank modernization programs. Here are five of the most advanced tanks that are fielded, or will be fielded, in the near future by NATO. One M1A2C Abrams. The M1A2C in its latest 2019 configuration is without a doubt the most advanced tank in the NATO inventory. It's the only NATO tank with a fielded active protection system and a smart, programmable armor-piercing round. It also features upgrades to the internal armor arrays in the hull and turret, as well as upgraded third-generation thermal imaging systems. The M1A2C also been shown with additional welded-on armor on the turret face for even more protection. While the M256 gun on the M1A2 Abrams is shorter than that on Advanced Leopard 2 variants, the gun operates at a higher pressure than the original L-44S fitted to earlier Leopard 2s, in order to fire the M829A3 and M829A4 rounds. Two. Leopard 2A7V The latest German upgrade to the Leopard 2, the Leopard 2A7V features sensor, armament, and armor upgrades along the same lines of the M1A2C. The long L-55 120mm gun is being replaced by the new, higher pressure L-55A1 gun for increased penetration. 2A7V also features an ammunition data link similar to the M1A2C, however, whether Germany has developed a smart, armor-piercing round similar to the M829A4 is unknown, as the ammunition data link is known to be used to fire the programmable DM11 rounds. The first Leopard 2A7 was handed over to the German army in Munich on December 10, 2014. A total of 14 vehicles were produced for Tank Battalion 203, plus four more going to the Armored Corps Training Center and one vehicle at the Technical School for Land Systems and School for Technology of the Army. Three, Leclerc XLR. France's advanced Leclerc tank is also receiving an upgrade in the near future with the XLR variant. The primary feature of the upgrade is the integration with the Scorpion Battlefield Network that's expected to equip all future French vehicles. Armor is also increased, but no active protection systems have been spotted. 3. The Leclerc is armed with a 120mm Modally F1 smoothbore gun designed by the Arsenal of Bourges EFAB, under the designation of CN120-26. Its barrel is 52 calibers long instead of the 44 calibers common on most main battle tanks of its generation, giving the projectile a higher muzzle velocity. The Leclerc is also equipped with a 12.7mm coaxial M2 heavy machine gun and a roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun, whereas most other NATO tanks use 7.62mm weapons for both their coaxial and top machine gun mounts, the major exception is the American M1 Abrams, which has a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and two top-mounted machine guns, one 7.62 mm and one 12.7 mm. Four STRV 122C. Sweden is also upgrading its fleet of leopards in the C variant of the STRV 122 a version of the Leopard 2A5. The primary upgrades appear to be sensor-related, with the changing of the earlier thermals to third-generation devices.
STRV-122s have better armor than most NATO Leopard 2s, as they are fitted with the full Mexes H armor package, which was reduced on German Leopard 2A5S. This gives them better protection against cluster artillery munitions. However, the 122C's armament is not receiving a big upgrade and retains the unupgraded L-44 gun, limiting its armor-piercing potential. Five Leopard 2A6 HL Greece's Leopard 2A6 features additional armor versus regular Leopard 2A6S, being an adopted version of the Leopard 2A6 EX prototype. The additional armor comes from additional reinforcements on the upper glassy plate and crew hatches, as well as a full Mexes package. While the 2A6 HEL only features a standard L-55 gun, it remains one of the more deadly tanks within NATO. The Leopard 2A6M is a version of the 2A6 with enhanced mine protection under the chassis, and internal enhancements, to improve crew survivability. The Leopard 2 HEL is a derivative of the 2A6 that was ordered by the Greek army in 2003. In shorts, the STRV-122s have better armor than most NATO Leopard 2s, as they are fitted with the full Mexes H armor package, which was reduced on German Leopard 2A5S. This gives them better protection against cluster artillery munitions.